This season of giving, unfortunately, is also the season of stealing. Each year, hundreds of Christmas deliveries are stolen. CBS News Detroit's Terrell Bailey is asking Novi Police how you can better protect your packages. It's that time of year again as the Christmas presents begin to arrive on your front doorsteps. Porch pirates are roaming around aiming to make them disappear. Everyday thieves that uh, they target uh, people who are getting deliveries of packages to their homes, uh, usually to the front porch. A quick step on your front porch and within seconds, your hard earned items are gone. Locally investigators say as we rain in on the Christmas season, porch pirates are expected and no neighborhood is safe. It's a crime opportunity, see a package, see a bunch of packages, uh, run up, grab the packages and go. If caught, authorities say criminals could face up to felony charges. According to CNET, one in four adults ages 18 to 34 knows someone who has had a package stolen. But there are things you can do to protect your items. Immediately, you know, look at the tracking, um, know when that package is going to be delivered to my home, um, and try to be there when that package is going to be delivered. Over in Northville Township, police are familiar with porch pirates. In an effort to combat the issue during the holidays, they allow residents to send their items to the department. You have to have a government issued ID when you pick it up. That way we make sure it's going to the correct recipient. For others, authorities recommend investing in home video surveillance. They also say have a rapport with your neighbors, especially if you aren't home during delivery time. Uh, if you have neighbors that are home all the time, maybe they work from home or they're retired and they know their neighborhood. And if you see that suspicious vehicle, just call on us. Now, authorities recommend either sending the package to a neighbor's home or store if you're not going to be home to ultimately avoid a porch pirate. Terrell Bailey, CBS News, Detroit.